Jeff Collins relieved of his duties earlier in the season. And as James mentioned, Key has gone three and two as the head man. Georgia Tech won the toss, elected to defer and kick it away. And here comes on this opening drive, a pistol look behind Brown on third and short. 54th game in a Georgia Tech uniform for Thomas. This is a spinning first down past the 40 for Jalen Knighton. First down, Hurricane. Moved that football a little bit, had 113 yards in that game. Knighton up the middle. He's got first down yardage and on to the Georgia Tech side of the 50. And the chains are moving for Miami. Having their way with them on the ground. Three carries for 23 yards for Knighton. This is Bouchard Smith. A little wrinkle there inside the 35-yard line. Obviously, won't be able to go the whole game without airing it out a little bit. Tenth play of the drive. Brown. Down to about the 22-yard line, maybe three on the play. Check everybody's pride and, and, and their attitude. And the attitude has been there by this offensive line here early, winning the battle. Brown, open man inside the 10 and into the end zone. Will Mallory was wide open, 22 yards, and a touchdown pass from the freshman Jakari Brown. Little play action pass to Rooster in the pressure right there in Brown's face. He knows he's going to get hit. For Will Mallory, who's wide open, a bust in the secondary there for Georgia Tech. And not a bad opening drive for the Miami Hurricane. More wide receiver. Very tough football player. And right on cue, there is number eight. Unable to shut down the Florida State run. I ran over the middle, twisting grab, but then the ball came out. Picked up by Miami. And they return it to the 45. Start. Tried to thread that one. It appeared that Miami had the best chance at it. McCollum. Going for it, and they'll get a freebie. Wow. Look at that. Got a chance to get off the field instead. That's a tackle for loss. Hall met by Tyreek Stevenson. He squared him up. It's a two-yard loss. It, that's usually when he's in coverage, when he's defending those passes. Here he brings the wood. Following the motion man in. There's third and long. Got to get to the 20. Trying to put some touch on this one inside the 10 in traffic. And the Canes come up with the interception. Cameron Kitchens down by the goal line. Yeah, the three interceptions coming in tied for second in the ACC. There's Tyreek Stevenson with the coverage there from his cornerback spot. Brown in that offense on first down. It sets up so much more, makes things easier on these next few plays. Rashard Smith trying to work in space up near the 20. First down Miami. Quick toss and then the run from Smith. Nice job by Restrepo out there on the edge, blocking the perimeter. Help these big plays hit. Makes this a little bit more manageable here now. A third down and four. Two for two in the game on third down. 41% for the season. Fifth in the ACC. Brown releases incomplete at the 28. Up the middle. There's a hole. Breaking away Smith. He's in midfield. And toppled on the Miami side of the 50. Tay Smith, such a bright spot in the win over Virginia Tech last week. Running game, and boy, did they need a huge difference in last week's game. And here he's going to get dropped behind the line of scrimmage, though, Tom. You're right about last week, though, James. Nine carries, 85 yards, and a rushing touchdown. Some of these seniors, like Malachi Carter, Inside the 45-yard line on the rush from Pyron. Via the penalty. Want to make sure they're not faking this and they punt it away. Shanahan, the punt. Jacoby George. Successful fair catch at about the six. Brown complete. Latson Jr. Wrestles his way past the 30-yard line. Third and five. Knighton up near midfield and a first down. Yeah, and these big guys get, getting up and going. It sends everybody on the defense thinking, well, they're moving those big guys for a reason. They're pulling them around. Five carries and 37 yards so far in the game for Knighton. Play fake and throw at the 40. 
catch was made. That's Colby Young, had a key block on the previous play. Knighton's the back. He's got the football. Hole on the left side. Drags the defender inside the 30, and that could be first down yardage. You know, a little bit more want to out of Knighton than we've seen this year. You know, he's got those turnovers behind him. Miami's had the ball twice as much as Georgia Tech so far. Brown takes off. 20. Colonel's his way to a first down near the 15-yard line. Designed quarterback run here and a good job. That time it was a big offensive run. 20 touchdowns in the red zone this season for Miami. It's down to the five. Stanley just inside the five. Brown to Mallory in the first quarter. On the opening drive for Miami. Brown still has it. Lofts it to the front corner of the end zone. And stepping in for the touchdown. As they got the young guns out there producing here today. Jaleel Skinner, the freshman out of Greer, South Carolina. App, the play pass. Second TD pass of the game for Brown. It's been a different story so far today as we play in the second quarter against Georgia Tech for the Canes. Pirate, 30, 35, Pirate, first down. For a long time, and then he'll pull it and go and beat everybody out to the edge. Nice blocking down the field for him as well. Three carries and 19 yards so far for Pirate. And this one off, drop for a loss. Hassan Hall back at the 36-yard line, loss of two. Wiley, how important was he? He said the first day we got to town, we'll let this, let this third down go here. Stephen Drew, baseball players, couple World Series champions. They went to Lowndes County. Tim Drew. Brown got hit as he handed off Knighton. Directing some traffic across midfield. Knighton on the carry from Miami. Pops right back up, though, because he's fired up. What happened? The end result. And the end result down the field is because of all that great block. 217 total yards for Miami. Trying to add to that total. Brown improvising. Got away around the ankles, and he threw it incomplete. They finally get to him, and Brown almost able to escape a few shirt tackles. As he's going down, he hucks it away. Third and long. Out of the pocket. Brown Dropped at the 42-yard line. Had to get to the 30. Here in this first half, one of the best cornerbacks in the country. Though. Pirate again. Other side of the field, McCollum. Malachi Carter, the senior, and the sophomore McCollum, both key in that win. Miami also won at Virginia Tech this season. Felix on the carry, driven back. And give him the short field just moments before halftime. Yeah, 0 for 3 on third down for the Yellow Jackets. Pyron. Pyron! Sideline and sliding. At least they're being consistent in the holding or lack thereof with the calls here today. Wide open receiver down at the 40. That's Felix. All of these completions, all these passes today, wasn't the same last week. He's had to earn them. Here comes the blitz off the edge. First down, Pyron. 40-yard line, dragging a cane tackler with him. 14 yards. Couch on the tackle. First down. Jake Garcia, the two-point conversion to win it in the fourth overtime. Smith he goes out of bounds near the 30-yard line. Gavin Stewart's been pretty good for him, and Georgia Tech will get the ball to start the second half. Flags are out. And he's hurt Miami a couple times in these situations, running the football here today. Don't forget about Zach Pyron. Pyron, end zone! Back edge of the end zone and caught for a touchdown. Nine yards to Nate McCollum. A 99-yard drive. Yeah, remember, it started all the way back at their own one-yard line. And look at that catch. Tyreek Stevenson right there in his hip pocket has a hand in his face and the concentration by McCollum. You can't cover it any better than that. And you also can't throw it any better than that either. Great throw by the true freshman. And the concentration to hang on. 
What a throw by Pyron. Third passing TD of the season. Nate McCollum. Goes without saying, it's a little bit easier for them to move it down there. Pyron looking for an alley. Nowhere to go against the Canes defense. We saw Pyron take some shots last week. Closing in a hurry, Harvey. In those rush lanes, make sure someone accounts for the quarterback here. Canes get credit for a sack on the previous play. The pass is behind the intended receiver, Malachi Carter. That's off to the first-year head coach there in Durham. How about this? Behind the line of scrimmage, they finally get to him. Hats off to the Georgia Tech D. Loss of one as they swallowed up Brown. And Colby Young in a discussion. <laughs> Put him on the mosh pit. Pass me around. In fact, they're two and two in the last four games. Georgia Tech coming off the win on the road at Virginia Tech a week ago after losing two in a row. When Key took over, they won two in a row. Pirates pass. Hall trying to create in space, and he slid down. Brown freelancing. Throws on the run. Open man at the 30 and complete Frank Latson Jr. Finally with a little bit of pressure. There's the push inside up against Ja'Kai Clark. Brown forced the bail and does an excellent job of not just tucking it and running. Five of eight on third down. Brown is pressured. Flips it out to Franklin. He gets up near the 40. That's at least four yards short. A bunch of injuries along that offensive line, and they've done a good job so far in this game here today. Pump and throw over the middle. Complete breaking away. McCollum. McCollum to midfield and finally taken down. They're over the ball right now as we take a look at this. How about McCollum? One guy misses. It's back out. They are at Georgia for the 116th meeting between the programs. Byron takes off. Miami territory puts the shoulder down at the 35. Punishing yards. Watch Dante Smith turns into a fullback. Corey Flagg has to do a better job of stepping up and blowing that up. Good play call there by Coach Long, offensive coordinator. Little razzle gadget. Byron throws inside the 10, and it's picked off. The leaping interception from Tyreek Stevenson. Second interception thrown by Pyron in the game. Tyreek Stevenson, he is all of the above from the cornerback spot. He's a great cover guy. He's very physical. And here. Later stages of the third quarter. Brown. An extra gear and up near the 30. Yeah, watch the rush there, the right side of your screen. That's beyond Jewin. You know, it's one thing to get off the spot. Georgia Tech reading the pullers and just going back there, knifing in there and penetrating, and disrupting the whole play. Smith. He might have enough at the 40 with eight yards. Now it's third and three. Brown wants to do it himself. He doesn't get there. Needed to get to midfield. He's well short of it, and it's fourth down. Defense is playing some great football. They'll send in the punting unit. Good job. There by the Jackets. Probably can get him in one more time. Bounces at the 10. Rolls to the 5. He's attempted 30 passes. Does not have a TD pass. So he'll hand off. And Hall got spun down. And ended with a pirate interception. Nice job by Chance Williams using those hands. Numbers for Gibson. Throws from his own end zone. Had a man over the middle and complete flags are out. Sims has dealt with leg and foot injuries. A little pump and throw down the sideline and it's picked off at midfield. That's Kitchens again. He's got his second of the game. Kitchens has on the blue and gold. He did go to Miami Northwestern after all. Uh, 
I'm so glad that I wear blue and gold. That's what they like to sing there at those. They'll bring bodies. Smith gets around one man. He's got a first down inside the 40. Inside the Georgia Tech 40. Brown looking around. He launches it. That'll be too far for everybody into the end zone. Brown's pass incomplete. Clayton Powell lead back there with Colby Young. And why not try it? We've had so, so many fireworks come from number 88 here as of late. That one nowhere near the big man, so it's second down and 10 now. Seven different receivers utilized by Jakari Brown. That includes Young, who has one catch in the game for 11 yards. Two TD passes thrown by the freshman. Has to leave the pocket to his right. Turns the corner down the sideline and cut down at about the 14. How about the job that he does outside on Kennard? Kennard is just lost in space right there. He gets to that edge so fast, and there's no turning him back, and there's nobody out there straight down the sidelines and showing you why. Georgia Tech struggling to move the football. Obviously, three is huge in this situation. Brown is looking at the end zone. Tosses it there, and it is complete for the touchdown. Colby Young has it for the Canes. Here we go, Colby Young. Silenced last week, a little bit quiet early in this game, and a great job. But once again, good protection up front for the young quarterback. Fifth touchdown catch of the season for Young, and the third in the game for Georgia Tech at quarterback. And he is sacked. Time ran out in that pocket. Against FSU last week. Here, relentless, getting rid of his block, just gasping a little bit. Here's a third down and short now. Nice job defensively by the Canes. There's Corey Flagg. This is the play of the game right here. They got to get this. Gibson. That ball hit the turf incomplete. Knight up the middle. Drag the jackets down towards the 15. For Hurricane fans, because remember a few weeks ago in that Virginia Tech game, the entire fourth quarter, they just threw the foot. Over 200 rushing for Miami. They had 188 a week ago against Florida State. In total. 21-7, trying to build on the lead. To the goal line and in for the touchdown. Jalen Knighton for Miami. Yeah, it, it's frustrating when a, a team can impose their will against you and block you man for man and just overpower. Borregalis knocks it through. 28 to 7. In conference play on the road, James. If this score holds, they move to 3 0. Down the sideline. Up past midfield. At home. Gibson through the progression. That's caught on the run. Carter. Down to the 20. Caleb Johnson on the tackle. We've got the, perhaps the, at that point, the Coastal Champions, if they can win tonight, North Carolina, and then the defending national champions and the top team in the country. To the end zone, it's intercepted. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There it Intercepted goes. Kitchens. He may go the distance. Try to chase him down. It's not going to happen. 99 yards, the return after the interception. And a touchdown, Cameron Kitchens from Miami. There we go, just waiting on it. And, you know, the, the first one was was a crazy catch and the last two a couple of easy ones but you'll take it anyway and all the way to the house nobody over there as soon as he caught it 
I'm sure 24. He's feeling pretty good seeing nothing but grass and a couple orange jerseys to lead the way. Nine quarters without a touchdown. They won that game at Virginia in overtime. Took four overtimes, and there were no touchdowns. None by either team. That pass threaded down by the 45 and caught. Malik Rutherford. These turnovers really becoming contagious, as, as they have in a big way for Georgia Tech throughout the season. They go a little bit cold defensively here today. Don't force any turnovers. So Kitchens with those three interceptions, the first hurricane, to do so in a game since Kenny Phillips back in 2006, and that was at Duke. It'll be incomplete. Well, even on the road at Texas A&M, then a top 25 team, they, they played them really close, tough game. Inside of a minute to go now. We'll dump off. Felix couldn't get away of Miami football. I have a pretty good idea who's going to be defensive back of the week in the ACC when we vote on that. Flag is out. So second down and goal, and it should be Miami football taking a knee. Diving for the goal line and in for the touchdown. Felix. Second and third effort, a seven-yard play for a touchdown. Felix, freshman. Got some, a couple good runs. Last doing it through the air. Nice catch and nice effort. Stretch it across that plane. Make it 35 to 14 with 37 or 36 seconds remaining. Final seconds tick off the clock, and Miami goes on the road, James, and wins it 35-14 to 14 against Georgia Tech in its final home game for 2022.